So I wish to talk on the ipsilateral hip and shaft fractures because some of the 6 to 9 percent of all femoral shaft fracture, mostly egg patient, high energy trauma, and in elderly osteoporotic femur multifocal fracture with excessive combination and low energy. Now it is very easy to talk about only a singular fracture neck femur, but when we are faced with the combination of the fracture shaft femur and neck femur or a cervical basal fracture, there is always a problem and you know the literature that majority 30 percent they are missed and during nailing also we discover and we are in dilemma. So you know that the x-ray should be taken and if you are a suspicion you can go ahead with the CT scan and MRI but we must ensure in the fracture shaft of the femur is there any fracture neck of the femur and that should be the message. So this is one of the example, a patient complains of hip pain after I am nailing of the femur, post-operative hip x-ray in 50 degree of internal rotation may discover the fracture and in a such a situation now what to do? There are three types of fractures, non-displaced femoral neck fracture when found prior to the nailing, another a displaced neck fracture when found prior to the nailing. So this displaced and undisplaced because management differs. And third is a mixed femoral neck fracture which is revealed after post-operative period, length of the period you just cannot predict. So this is the x-ray, vertical fracture neglected for some time and it has turned out to be a non-displaced fracture into a displaced fracture. Now what to do? So in the fundamental facts, vertical femoral neck fracture seen in 26 to 59 percent of the cases. Less incidence of avian in this type of fracture. Varus malunion of femoral is not uncommon. Osteotomy is lead to poor, poor results. Hence, optimum fixation of the femoral neck fracture should be our goal. Two techniques of fixation. When the neck fracture is non-displaced or reducible, stabilize the neck first, avoid further displacement of the neck fracture and avian. These are all articles are published in literature. But when the neck is displaced as well as the shaft, in that case it is very difficult to reduce both the fracture, neck as well as the shaft. So in that case you stabilize temporarily the femoral, neck fracture, femoral shaft fracture and on that you can maneuver the neck and reduce. But often one of the fracture requires open reduction of the fractures. So this is the example, a choice of implant, key decision whether to do a two implants or a one implant for both the fractures. So there is a literature also is not very clear, there are all proponent and opponent of these two methods. Now this is one of the example. A current literature accepted method is a two implant construct reduces the strain of a single implant and offers optimal biomechanical stabilization of the ipsilateral femoral shaft fractures. So this is one of the example, a missed fracture neck femur not revealed and you can see the patient continue to have pain after movement even after fixation of the fracture and in that case one must look for the fracture neck of the femur. This is the post-operative hip, X-ray revealed fracture neck of the femur after 15 days. Missional techniques fixation, femur four weeks post-op and one year follow-up fracture united with good results. Another example, a displaced femoral neck fracture when found prior to the nailing, fixed by missional technique, post-operative X-ray, it looks good, but three months follow-up, inadequate fixation, and you can see two years follow-up, virus malunion of the neck of the femur. So, literature says when an anti-grade femoral nail in situ, it complicates the neck of the femur fixation. Any attempt to remove the previous implant risks the further displacement of the neck of the femur fracture and increases the risk of avascular necrosis and femoral aid. So, this is another example, a 51-year-old displaced femoral as well as shaft fracture, 
First fixation of the neck by CC screw or DHS with derotation screw followed by a retrograde nail for fixation of the shaft should be the aim. Now this is how this technique prioritizes anatomic reduction and fixation of the femoral neck fracture followed by fixation of the shaft. Rational to avoid mal reduction of the one of the fractures. This is one of the example. This is the ipsilateral fracture with shaft fracture treated by supracondylar nail and DHS with additional screw. One of the fracture went into now union fracture shaft femur hypertrophic augmentation plate was done and union has occurred. Another example, two implant screw plate fixation, but this should be the method discouraged because it requires extensive surgery and open reduction. Another example, inability to weight wear on affected leg even after two months of supracondylar nailing, neglected fracture, absorption of the neck, osteopenia, how to proceed. You can see exchange nail for femoral shaft fracture, reduction, abduction osteotomy, eyelid trace, fibular graft, derotation screw, three combo method, three years of follow-up, and you can see after removal of the implant, a new neck has formed. So don't leave the hope. It is possible to save the femoral head, and I do agree with the Tanna sir. Those who are expert in doing a joint replacement surgery, they can do it. But average surgeon, there are so many complications of joint replacement avail a second surgery. Another example, a basic cervical fracture, multiply injured, fixed by two implants, everything healed, follow for six months. So these are the things which can happen. But you can also use a one single implant. Simultaneous reconstruction of both fracture with anti-grade single device with avoiding trauma to the knee, attractive for its elegance and efficiency, cross view, the use of capillary device to address both fracture, simultaneously to significant higher rate of malreduction of one of the fractures. Therefore, comparative study of ipsilateral femoral fractures, long PFN is a better choice of implant in a complex fractures, achievement of biological fixation of both fracture, it is possible, but mostly in the cervical basal and intertrochanteric fracture. I have published one of the paper of a long proximal femoral in ipsilateral femoral fracture with 42 cases, and this is one of the good implant. So advantages, minimally invasive, reduced blood clot, less operation time, no gap region, and no concern stress risers. And you can see this is how it is to be done. A close reduction on fracture table, you may open reduction, and then it is possible you have to fix the femoral neck first, then pass a nail, and then do a technique. And this is all well described in the literature also. Check for rotation, and you will find I can show you innumerable examples. They are treated by a single implants. These are all examples. These are all examples of single implants. I have done more than 50 cases by now with a gratifying result. But rosy picture does not always occur. It is a ipsilateral pelvis, cervical basal shaft fracture treated by a single implant. Implant failed because of inadequate fixation of the shaft. And you can see what to do. There is a cavitation, migration of the nail, and advice, division, and I did. Now it is two months earlier. Still revision, abduction, osteotomy, and then plating of this. So results is awaited. Abduction, osteotomy, DHS, locking plate for femur. So it is possible, but there are complications of this injuries are many, whether you use a single implant or double implant, and in 30% of the cases, it may require a revision surgery. So take home image, difficulties in reducing the fracture and its maintenance needs careful planning. Reconstruction nailing should not be preferred in displaced femoral neck fracture. In a displaced femoral neck fracture, it is better to use a two implants. Femoral neck fracture should preferably stabilize first. A short delay of five to six days in stabilizing ipsilateral femoral neck and shaft does not seem to affect ultimate functional outcome. Two implants preferred, but there is no evidence. Thank you very much.